Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Black Holler, and this is new horror comedy from director Jason Berg and writers Heidi Irvin, Rachel Ward Hagen, and also Jason Berg. And you have this story about a street smart Laquita Johnson is forced to go on a camping trip with a bunch of ridiculous white students on the first day of new school. And Tamika Robinson plays Laquita and things that I appreciate about this movie. So obviously it's taking a new kind of spin on this very cliched genre at this point of, you know, like slashers and, you know, camp slashers and it's just a bunch of dumb white kids, you know, getting murked by somebody. And this time around, like, you have the street smart, smartest person in the room or the forest. Uh, Laquita, played by Tamika Johnson and Tamika Robinson, and she is a lot of fun. And she gives a fun energy to the film and as a central character. She is indeed surrounded by some of the most annoying, idiotic characters you'll ever probably see in a movie. Some of them are a little too much and are just like, this is so annoying. I can't even stand listening to some of them on screen. Other ones hit that sweet spot of being so stupid but so much fun that you enjoy just watching them bumbling and doing stupid stuff. And this film balances those things decently well. There's definitely points where it's just like this movie is too dumb and ridiculous. And like you could definitely sense that there's a fun, campy vibe to the film. And they're definitely going for that. And there's moments where it's like that's really working and I get a fun laugh out of it. And other points where I'm just like roll my eyes a little bit. But all throughout this film you can definitely feel that energy. This is a really low budget film. It's definitely silly and campy in that way and leaning into the fact that like they know this is a low budget slasher film during a camp and you got like sleep away camp you have um you have Friday the 13th and all those different kinds of films that kind of lean into like you know dumb kids at a camp and you know they're having sex they're doing stupid stuff and somebody's gonna murder them all and you have that kind of vibe in this film except going for more of like a knowing look at it and like a wink wink at the audience being like we know what's going on here we know this is ridiculous I hope you're having fun and this is that kind of film where it's just like I is this a great film no but you have that kind of energy where you can definitely tell there's a passion here and they definitely have a great sense of humor about it and want you to have fun watching it. This is definitely one of those kinds of films where you're sitting there like, if I had a group of friends here right now, not me, but like maybe some of you all out there is like, have a drink or two and just have a ball. So I think Black Collar is definitely one of those like group fun experiences. Um, it might not leave you very satisfied just trying to sit here and watching it for like a horror perspective or like a filmmaking perspective. But you know what? With the budget that they had, I think they did a fine job of coming up with something pretty darn entertaining. But those are my thoughts on Black Holler. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.